Hello and welcome. Today I will be completing the square for this function so that I can find the vertex for the parabola that is represented by this function. So in order to get started in this case because the a of this function of this parabola is 2 and not 1, I will have to factor it out. But I keep the 10 outside. So 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. 4x divided by 2 is 2x. Great. Now, I want to make this a perfect square trinomial. And how can I do that? Easy. I can just divide this middle term by 2 and square it. Simple. So 2 divided by 2, 1 squared 1 and I put this one right here. I add a 1 there. Now, I need to balance this equation because I just randomly added a 1 here. So, I'm gonna have to take it away. However, do I take away just the 1? Not in this case, because there's a 2 here. And that's actually a 2 in disguise. So what do we do? In fact, we, you can always put this number right here and multiply it by that one. And this signal, whatever is in front here, needs to be the opposite signal to that one. So let's say if I had negative 2 here, I would have a positive right there, a plus. But in this case, since that's positive, that will remain negative. So I added a 1 and I subtracted it, balancing the, the function. So now I have a perfect square trinomial that will factor into x plus 1 squared because two numbers that multiply to 1 and add up to 2 will be 1 and 1. 10 minus 2 times 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 10 minus 2 is 8. Done. So the vertex of the parabola represented by this function would be negative 1 comma positive 8. That's it. And that would be a minimum value just because the parabola goes up since a is positive 2. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video.